me say something, Joe. You and I, in in the past, you know, people could look at us, say we're a couple of angry guys, and we got. I think we have some serious righteous anger. There's a lot of anger going on out there. A lot of anger going on out there, and it's being directed at us. And again, Joe, we're we're you know, we try to emphasize to everybody we're Roman Catholic men. I mean, look, we we we're prepared on one level or another to deal with the 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 persecution of the world. Okay, if you if you wanted to say it like that, but there's Joe, there's some serious serious anger out there homeland security now you could say what you want all right but rod dreyer i consider to be a trusted source now he's quoting and you're going to talk about it and bring the audience into it he's quoting a trusted source okay at homeland security i trust rod dreyer okay um at the american conservative and what he's got to say joe i gotta say it's it's got not in a scared way but it's got me, in a cautious way, a little bit nervous. Rod Dreher, for those who may not know, he uh, writes for the American Conservative. He also wrote uh, a fairly controversial book in the Catholic world called The Benedict Option. Um, I think he's the know. editor. I think he's the editor of, of American Conservative. I okay. believe. Anyway, you, know. But no, you know, either way, he's involved. Um, he basically, uh, a source. So it's not official. Let me just first say that, you know, just to be fair. Uh, he says a very highly trusted source told him that uh, homes, Homeland Security has notified the bishops that there's a uh, credible threats to the safety of Catholic churches, clergy, and bishops if, this, if the Supreme Court overturns Roe. Um, I think it's a double-edged sword first. Again, I think it's, it's a, it's a double-edged sword. One, could that be real? Absolutely. Um, keep this in mind. Management always drops bombs on Friday. I was waiting for it this Friday in June. Management always does that. You heard it. It's going to happen on a Friday. Um, it could be this week. It could be the next, but it will be a Friday at four o'clock to let the weekend kind of like, you know, cool it down. So keep your eye out for that. That's number one. Uh, it's just how corporate deals work. I've seen it happen time and time again over my career. That's just how it works. Um, anyway, as far as the threat Listen, even though it's coming from a source, I could buy that clearly. Um, the other well, side of the story. We've seen it a little bit, Joe. It hasn't been as rampant as we thought since the leak, but we have seen some. Go ahead. Oh, absolutely. I mean, but the other side of the sword is could it just be I'm trying to scare the bishops um, as a threat, as in, hey, guys, uh, you know, we're coming for you. Either way, I think you have to take it definitely serious. I mean, we've already seen graffiti on churches. I think the majority of the violence that will be perpetrated against Catholics will be at statues. I've seen that in New York. Uh, Cardinal Dolan recently went to a statue of Our Lady, um, which was, you know, desecrated. I think you're going to see a lot of that. Um, there could be- They also, Joe, real quick, they also, uh, from the report I read, they stole- a two million dollar tabernacle in Brooklyn. I think that could be for money, though. I think was that was that? an inside job too. That's another conversation. You know, like who would know that that's worth two million bucks? Well, Joe, Joe, you... just because somebody is ideologically pro-abortion doesn't mean that they're not into grabbing some cash if they could. Two, two million bucks. It doesn't matter what your uh, political ideology is. If you're a thief, you want two million bucks. <laughs>